to showcase all the cool sounds in this library, I've composed two original songs in both light and shadow. I'll be breaking down both and showing you what I used, how I treated the sounds, and how they all come together. I liked the contrast of the oohs and the ahs, so I have some bass chords going on here. Got that. So you have more of a real sounding got the ooze, but then down it, it's it's not quite my voice. It's it's synthy, which I like. So you've got more of a, a choir tone pad, even though it's my voice. So I have those bass chords with the ahs. So you have a good mix of the oohs and the ahs. Just to start us out. And then we have a lead from the ethereal dreamscape. which is my straight awe. Now I processed this, even though it comes dry with all of the different verbs that I already had. I have I want to add even more verb to that. I've got my compressor, my delay, my EQ, just to shelve off just a little bit of the highs, making it a little darker. So we have that at the beginning of this song. things that I did when I first got the library was play with all of the different types of my voice and the staccato <laughs> so I couldn't just sing that just now <laughs> So it's so fun to play this as an instrument. Layered over those other dreamy chords.
favorite things to do with my voice is bend it. Give it that like haunting kind of leading somewhere. So all together. that otherworldly mystical voice what is that calling it creates suspension suspense <laughs> with over the piano so we've got all of this going on the processing this is just the straight bare bone staccato <laughs> off the top so it just tucks in really nicely to everything that we got we've got a whole new section with our angelic ooze. Let's do that again. So with this one, we've got angelic ooh from the ethereal dreamscapes and without all the processing so we've got putting back all of my different effects and you've got
the major third up. So what's fun with the angelic ethereal dreamscape section is that we have a bunch of different options. We have the sus two, the major third, the major third triad, sus four, fifth, sixth, sus two, harmonies, oohs, ahs, haze. And with this one, I also have a major third up. So we've got online processing I put just a little more verb on it just a little bit more <laughs> and then with everything else with all the other vocals we have a nice bend in there and then big giant chords. We've got a big choir now all together. Adding in the fourth. Now what I love about this one is I used some of the phrases from the angelic section in 70 BPM. So this specific one. I have a bunch of them. give it some movement, even though I'm not featuring the phrase, just to give it that movement in there. My favorite presets that we have in the ethereal light dreamscapes is the angelic ooh fourth down. So look, just one C and you got the fourth. Just our regular chord, and you've got I wanted to be able to express the type of harmonies that I love so much, but without you having to do the work. So I have a bunch of different intervals. So we've got, instead of just, let's just do a regular ooh. Let's see. 
So we have regular ooh. Let's do a sus. Same G, but I love the sus chord so much. I love sus so much. It's so haunting. It's not quite happy and it's not quite sad. But see, so just one sus. But what if I did a sus on top of a sus? only doing two because I don't have all these different fingers to do it with. Let's do three notes and see how many different options we have. Let's add even more. We got three notes giving us all those luscious harmonies and intervals. Now we have some type of ambient pad going on. So I love the sus because there are all these different shapes that can go on, only playing a couple notes. Then we have the major third. So that's what I love so much about the harmonies. It's, yeah, you can just have the third, but then you can also just stack them and create all these giant chords out of them. How I treat my raw vocals. It's a little delay, a lot of reverb, and some compression in EQ. And I love to just curve off the top because I have a lot of air and breath. So just trimming the fat on the top, giving it a darker tone, and then adding my beautiful Valhalla, which is one of my favorite reverbs. And then the delay is just giving it that tail to just keep floating away. And then we have how I treat my voice. And so with the staccato, that's not airy and floaty. It's more direct. So. I went to the Valhalla Vintage Verb, and I have just a concert hall, but it's more contained, and it's not as floaty. But I still have that, that vibe. the but it's just you know putting a little verb on it gives it that other dreamy thing that it needs and some delay to just fill in those blanks but the raw sound is awesome in itself I put Valhalla shimmer back on this because this is the featured otherworldly vocal So let's put some Bahala and compression and delay. And then add it all in. 